Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3 of November 2007 for A level math. Uh, now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions that we have for you today. Now, we have question number one find the exact value, again, the exact value of the constant k for which we have this integral is 1. Now, k is right here. We have to find the value of, of k. So we have to integrate this one. So again, how do you integrate this? So we have to know, for example, if you were to integrate 1 over x dx, that will be ln of the value below. That will be x. For example, 1 over uh, 2x plus 1. That will be ln of the value below. And divide by d by dx of this one, which is 2. Now, same way for this one. Well, since it is linear, right? We can do this because it is linear, meaning the power of x is 1. Here we have, that will be ln of the value below, which is 2x minus 1, divided by d by dx of this will be 2. Limits of k and 1. Let's uh, plug in the values. We have what? So again, half 2. We can take it outside for now. Have ln of 2k minus 1 minus ln of 1. Now this will be 0 because we should know that ln of 1 is 0. So let's let's check. Yeah, 0. Cool. Now we have half of what? Of ln 2k minus 1 is supposed to give you 1. Let's find the value of k. So first thing first, let's cross multiply. Send this 2 on top. You will have ln of 2k minus 1 is equal to 2. Now what is ln? Ln is log to the base of e, right? So to have the value inside, I have to send the base to this side. For example, let's say I have ln of x is equal to a. To find x, the value inside, I have to send the base to the other side. So here you will have the value inside will be 2k minus 1 is equal to exponential 2. Now finally we have uh, 2k is equal to 1 plus exponential 2. k will be 1 plus exponential power 2 divided by, by 2. And this is the exact value of k for your question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have a polynomial uh, which is uh, denoted by p of x. So let me write p of x. Well p of x was given to you by we have x power 4 plus 3x squared plus a. Now we can rewrite this. So we have x power 4. Now we have 0x cube, right? We don't have cube. So let's write this down. And then we have 0x plus a. Now the reason why I do this is because it will be helpful if we carry out long division in this question. But first thing first, this is p of x. It is given that this thing right here is a factor of p of x. What does that mean? When something is a factor of something, it divides them perfectly and hence the remainder will have to be zero. Now using that information, find the value of a and the other quadratic factor of this one. So to find the other one, we have to carry out long division to first find the value of a. So let's do that. So right now we have the equation which is x power 4 plus 0 x power 3 plus 3x squared plus 0x plus a. Now we have this one which is x squared plus x plus 2. Now how do you carry out long division? So first let's have this one. So here we have x power 2. How do you make this become x power 4? You, are, you will say I have to multiply by x power 2. Now take the whole thing times this. You will have x power 4 plus x power 3 plus 2x power 2. Now minus, so this will cancel out. 0 minus this will be minus this. 3 minus 2 will be plus 1x squared. Have 0x and plus a. The next one, how can you make x squared become minus x cubed to have minus x? You have minus x cubed and then here we have minus x squared and then here we have minus 2x. This will go away. 1 minus uh, minus 1, that will be 2x squared. 
0 minus minus 2 will be plus 2x and plus a. Uh, now finally, how do you make x squared become 2x squared? Multiply by plus 2. Now be 2x squared plus 2x plus 4. Minus, this will cancel out, cancel out, and this should give you 0 because we know it is a factor and the remainder will be 0. Hence, we use this information, well, you say a minus 4 has to be 0, so thus a will have to be the value of 4. So now, p of x is equal to x this plus 3x squared plus 4 for p of x. Now, um, find the other quadratic factor of p of x. So the other one will be this one on top remaining. So you say the other factor will be x squared minus x plus 2. And this is your answer for question number 2. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.